Man, what a year. What a year. Life changing. All the way from my home in Louisiana to the Great Lakes up north in Michigan. I did it. You know, I didn't do it by myself. It takes a team, man. It's all about the team. Nobody gets there alone. Nope. Man, thank you, Striking. Hey, John Cruz, and today on Michiana Outdoor News, I'm going to tell you all about the Missile Baits Shockwave. Now, with Missile Baits, I'm not only the owner, but I'm also the designer of all these baits. And this is the Shockwave 3.5, and this is the Shockwave 4.25. Now, you might want to wonder why I'm going to tell you about these, these baits. They're, they're very versatile swim baits. They can be used in a variety of different situations. Uh, and, you know, this one right here, I've got it rigged on a real light, uh, 3 32nd ounce jig head and I fish it on light line six pound test on a spinning rod and I can I can do a lot of things with it as far as keeping this this lightweight head up above uh, grass fish it within a, a foot of the surface I can make it a pretty long cast with it being that I'm on light line uh, and I can just I can just crawl that bait right under the surface and it, and it has a real undulating action with the tail um, and then I can do any, and I can add more weight, you know, fishing on an eighth or a quarter and fish it deeper in the water column. Um, but the whole key to this, this small shock wave is the tail. And the tail portion is really thin uh, on, the, on the back end portion, on the boot part of it. And what that allows is it allows for a medium tail swing. That's what I wanted this, this bait to do. Uh, a lot of people fish the Kitex swim baits, very good swim baits, but they have a, a, what I call a wide tail swing. Uh, and I feel like there's times that those fish like a little bit more of a narrow tail swing because if you watch those little minnows going through the water, uh, you'll see one get isolated and get up near the surface and you see it run around. Th they have a real tight quivering action and uh, that's tried, more of what I tried to mimic than that wide tail swing. Uh, I feel like I tried to, to mimic uh, that, that little tight quivering tail action with, this, with the shock wave and um, even when you slow it down real slow, that tail still has a kick, even, it, even when you stop it and you're letting that, letting that jig head uh, or, or whatever weight pull that, that bait down, it's still gonna be having a little bit of a, a tail swing, still gonna have action. So that's exactly what I was trying to design into this. And if you put it on this light jig head, you can rig it up on your, your umbrella rig as well. Uh, real good on that finesse umbrella rig, which has gotten real hot up in that part of the country. Um, so that's the, the Shockwave 3.5, and here's the 4.25, and I fish that a lot on the, uh, on the weedless portion, throw it on a bait caster with more of the 12 and 14 pound uh, fluorocarbon. Catch a lot of largemouth on this thing. Uh, catch a lot of smallmouth on this, on this bigger one as well. Uh, and I, you don't lose fish uh, with that big gamagatsu extra wide gap hook. Um, you know, it, it caught a bunch of fish this year um, in, whenever we went up north uh, on this fishing over you know, sh shoal, rocky shoals and things like that with, that with that bigger swim bait. And it's always nice when you hook those big smallmouth. If you can get them on a little bit bigger tackle uh, when you're tournament fishing, it is, uh, it is real nice to be able to get them on that 12 pound fluorocarbon on a bait caster, get them in a lot easier than, than catching them on six pound uh, on, on the, lighter, the lighter stuff. So that's the Shockwave uh, from Missile Baits 3.5 and the 4.25. Uh, definitely something that you can probably add into your arsenal, uh, give you a little change up from, from what all the fish are seeing, and uh, hopefully catch you a few more fish.